Hello guys, uh, back again here at the channel JW Solar USA. So, um, in today's video, I just want to show you guys my six kilowatt uh, 2017 Chrysler Pacific car with the LG Cam solar battery golf cart EV cars, 16 cells. That's a three kilowatt each battery and uh each battery is a 67.2 volt nominal um after being charged and uh they are running at uh, the maximum voltage for 4.2 volt per cell if you see this so it's an individual cell so it's eight of them so that gives you uh 16s because eight batteries in series perils so that's going to give you that <clears throat> so um the the batteries are 48 volt nominal batteries so i'm using them for my 48 volt system with the outback power system but my outback power system can handle up to about uh, uh that 65 67 voltage which is a uh, perfect for my system so it's almost considered as a 60 volt system. So that's why I choose, or that's why I'm using Outback power system with my um, lithium ion batteries. So today what we're gonna be doing here with the um, these batteries, we're gonna be doing a voltage test. And guys, these are two just two modules I just brought here for you guys to see. And um, we're gonna be going through the process by using, I have two multimeter here, okay? It's a big boy. And um, um, it's made in Korea. And this is what, um, I don't know if you can see it, the uh, specifications there. And this is how it looks like. I don't know if you've seen one of these before, but it's uh, big guys and you guys have seen these this meter all the time on my test but um, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna put the probes here and make sure you guys see exactly what I'm trying to do live here at the command center of JW Solar USA if you haven't been a subscriber I would um, suggest you subscribe and not just subscribe just um, push the notification bell so that you can have um, notifications anytime I post a video or anytime I have something out there so you don't have to um, come back unless um, you stumble with the channel before you're gonna see something but if you push the notification bell you're gonna be having updates all the time so guys um, 4.2 volts on each cell here so I have uh, if you look at it I have 16 modules here eight here and eight right there so let's check the voltage of the battery itself the total is negative here positive negative and positive so if i would have series this v, um, thing for big like 67.2 uh, i want a series i just put a one boss bar right here terminal that change this battery to become a giant battery but if you guys want me i can demonstrate and see how much voltage that battery is going to be over hundred and some volt so they don't need to be serious so you just tie them in parallel pause negative to negative positive to take so you just string them we can take this one the positive and just stack them on top of each other and get a positive here the positive sit on top of each other then you can just put a boss bar right there in parallel negative you parallel them this negative comes here so you can use a wire in the interconnect and interconnect all right guys you can see that's a 57.9 volt yeah 57.9 volt and they are not charged okay they has to be charged they have to be charged so i have 57.9 which um i told you earlier and you can go about 67.2 so 
so this is the voltage you're seeing right now reading from one of the cell which is a uh, uh, 48 volts nominal voltage and 3 kilowatt all right let's go to the second one taking this it's really hard to um, really control the probes here I'm just trying to work with the best I could to get a reading Let's see. Yeah. Fifty seven point fifty seven point nine. The same voltage here, guys. See that? Fifty seven point nine. So I just want to show you guys, I want to share um, how the batteries are healthy, and um, I just want to give you a heads up before we're going to start doing all the process and I can go cell by cell and test them stay tuned for that I'm going to pop the cover on these ones here there's a cover here you can see uh, clips here 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 and there so stay tuned for that you're going to be popping these covers by what I do I screw a long nose plier and screw the, um, squeeze them and pull the cover okay all right guys this is what it is uh, squeeze the thing and just release the cover right there I got them still don't let go it's out okay just a cover that goes with different terminals so these are all the batteries here one two three four five six seven eight so these are terminal so one two three four five six seven eight the positive negative here so if we decide to test them individually I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here so since we already have this thing centered and we're gonna turn this meter and make sure is there you're gonna be seen like bouncing around but it's okay um, we're gonna be taking we're gonna be taking one of the probes since the ne negative is here and the positive is here and you can see hope I can get the voltage reading here clearly for you guys okay I think so. that's perfect so we starting from here so you take one probe, you put it right here, negative, and this is supposed to read a 7.2, 7.23, okay? Angle it better if I can get it to be perfect, okay? 7.23, you move this one back, this probe to this other one, 7.23, you move one step 7.23 move one step 7.23 move one step 7.23 one step 7.23 one step 7.23 and the last one 7.23 so guys all the batteries are properly balanced and um, there is no discrepancy on voltages okay that's why if we put it together now the positive right here and the negative right here it will read the 57.9 volt stay tuned for that subscribe like and share all right, we're taking up this last cover right here. Hope you can see that. Sorry, my hands on the way. Oh, there you go. I just took it off. You have to be really careful so you can't break these uh, clips 
Okay, now we're gonna go back with the test here. To just to show you that the batteries are all, if the batteries are all charged or balanced properly, balanced. So, I'm trying to get a good angle here for you guys. I think this will be perfect. Alright, we're going to start again from the negative, coming all the way to the positive. So, we're going to go like this. 7 point okay 7.24 and move further to this 7.242324 and move back to this 7.23 7 7.24 7.24 7.24 7.24 7.23 so one of them has a 1 uh point 0 0.1 millivolt uh differential this is a 2 point 7.2 hold on 7 7.24 7.24 7.24 7.24 7.24 Okay, I think it's just the way I uh, I was holding the probe um, probably didn't um, contact properly. But all the batteries are 7.24. They are perfectly balanced and they're all um, charged. If you divide uh, 7.24 by 2, that's going to give you uh, how much uh, volt on each cell. Two batteries in series and parallel them so live here from JW Solar USA I just uh, give you a clear representation here how the batteries are all um, balanced and charged this is the LG cam um, came from a 2017 Chrysler Pacific car so 67.2 volts and 48 volt nominal thanks for watching live here from the command center at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Bye for now. Stay tuned for more to come. How we're going to be charging these batteries. How we're going to put them to work. And how everything is going to be. We see the performance. Okay. These are 45 amps each. 45 amps each. And uh, they're going to be joining the other uh, guys on the battery bank there. Okay. And stay tuned for more. Still waiting for more to come. So I can able to, I want to do it once and for all and get all uh, the batteries, the total amount to be uh, uh, parallel, no series. So right now is a positive here, the negative right here, positive negative. If I put this thing together right here and you guys can see um, uh, the voltage, how much it's going to be. Let's try it and see, okay? Stay tuned. Or maybe next time. We could do that next time or next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Subscribe and share. Bye. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Stay tuned for more episodes coming your way live from this channel.